Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to continue and complete the second stage of the Caesar Cipher Python program. So, in the last stage, we created a dictionary that we called Trans Alphabet. This dictionary translates from normal letters into a shifted letter, so into a cipher text of any shift that we specified. So all of that magic happens inside this loop. Um, first, we designate a letter to be the ith member of this alphabet list. So the zero member is A, the, the second member or position one is B, C, and so on. So right here, um, we have an almost magical line of code that specifies a key. So this is here, enters a key in dictionary, and that key is assigned, the key is A, and the key is assigned the value, enters value into dictionary. So and that key is assigned a value, and A, as you can see when we're in zero, we're in alphabet zero, we're in A, A is assigned an alphabet shift, one plus whatever shift, we had five in the last one, so one, two, three, four, five, A is assigned an F, and B is assigned a G, and so on. So, and this here, percentage 26, all it does is you could practically ignore it um, until this value, gets to 26 and at 27 this essentially resets it to 1 2 3 4 5 and the way it does it is when you have 27 uh, and you ask what's the remainder of 27 divided by 26 you just get one so you start counting from the shift and then when you get to 26 you start counting from one that's all this does very important to understand so let's get to business um we're going to need to have our output string called something. I'm going to call it cipher text. And I'm just going to specify that that's a string. So I'll, I'll put in some blank spaces here. Now we're going to need to get um, a loop that is going to read our input string letter by letter and swap these letters. So we're going to go for and the loop variable, I'm just going to call it letter here. And for letter in input string. So for each letter in input string, actually, uh, I think I'm going to have to make the string lowercase. Um, so wait, for each letter in the input string, I'm just going to change the input string. So I've changed it to lowercase in here. I just want to keep the code as simple as possible. For each, so for each letter in the input string, if letter in trans alpha bit makes perfect sense. So if that letter is inside this alphabet, what then? Well, then letter equals to trans alpha bit i so that letter then becomes assigned to the value of the key of that letter what are we talking about if you find an o we are going to change an o into a t if you find a w we'll change it into a b so that's that done um so all we need to do now is, I think we were going to run into a little problem, but we're just going to print the ciphertext. And maybe we're going to get rid of printing the trans alphabet because we know that it works. Okay, moment of truth, F5, write the message you want to encrypt. Okay. We are 
going to the moon this one's the I don't know funny all right uh, shift we want to use is four and error what is the problem trace back code last line two letter equals the trans alphabet I Ah, you idiot. It's letter. We're looping letters. I, I, I'm so used to writing I's for the loop uh, variable, but no, we had letters. So what message did we have? Okay, let's try this again. No jinx, same message. Shift four. But we were gonna print the ciphertext. Oh, right. So, ciphertext is still blank, and in my infinite wisdom, I did not add the letter to the ciphertext. So, ciphertext is just going to be, we start with nothing. So, ciphertext is initially nothing, but it's equal to itself plus the new letter that we've just translated. So, add comment. This means add translated letter to cipher text. Okay, let's try this again. Write the message you want to encrypt. Four. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We said we are going to the moon. What is A? E is I. So far, so good. But we don't have any spaces. That is because we are only changing uh, the letters, the characters, things that are in the trans alphabet, and then adding the new ones as they're changed. So we're doing nothing for spaces, so we have no spaces. So we're gonna need to do something. So if we put an else here, this means that if the letter is not in the alphabet, then we're just gonna add space. So instead of adding the letter, we're gonna add plus, Remember, ciphertext is a string. You can add more strings to it. That's it. That's a single space. Let's try this again. Uh, okay, we'll forget the moon. We'll say something else. I have a nice view of the city. I actually have a nice view of the sunset right now, but... I go for the city M Lezzy. Okay, M is I. Is it? Is it? So let's find I. I will translate to M. Excellent. So have um H, where is H L? Excellent. So there we have it. Um we have created a program that encrypts messages. So in the very next video, we are going to have a look into how we can hack into messages that are, you know, encrypted using the Caesar cipher. So let's have fun with that one. All right, you got to the end and you may be wondering where can you get the file or a PDF document of the same tutorial. Don't worry, the link is right under the video, which will take you to this page. The whole Python Fundamentals course, it is free, and you enroll, you enter, I don't know, we can, I created a, a Gmail account, aussiejoeblow at gmail.com, got a password, and agree to the term, sign up, it could be this easy, I think, and there you are, in Pick a tutorial, 
it'll see the same you'll see the same tutorial as it is on YouTube and you will have a PDF document that goes with and a downloadable file so enjoy that and see you later